This week it's a simple question. DeVito or Trejo? Who would you rather have play you in a movie? And of course I put a shirtless picture of both up just so people get a uh, Okay, now you got to remember that Danny DeVito is a rather uh petite man. I believe Danny DeVito is uh 4'11. Uh you know, he, he looks a little husky, but I'll tell you what though, he looks even in that picture which is probably from about 10 years ago, looks to have kept himself in pretty good shape for a man of his uh his stature. And then of course you have uh, Danny Trejo who I believe was like a Mexican gangbanger at one point, uh, turned himself around, did a lot of weightlifting in uh, the old prison system, never really got the pineapple out of his face. Uh, but I hear is actually a rather uh, sweet man who just happens to be an uh, okay actor. So, uh, Wes, we'll start with you this week. Who's going to play you in the movie role? Okay, obviously it's not going to be <laughs> – the likeness is not what we're going for. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, I, who's good, who's going to play me? It's weird. We we were. I was watching uh, Goodfellas upstairs uh, before we hopped on today with Sarah, and I had made note of. Uh, do you know the character that Dan, uh, not Danny DeVito, Christ, Joe Pesci plays? In all of his movies, yes, I'm aware. No, in Goodfellas. Like his name is that what you're looking for? Tommy De Simone, the character he plays, the the person who actually existed in Goodfellas. Yeah. Okay. So apparently that guy was like six two and a, and a kind of a brute dude. Uh, <clears throat> so it's 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 not a matter of the the stature. It's a matter of who can portray your character better. At Christ, it's Danny DeVito all day. I'm a goofball, man. I'm always dicking around. I'm always hooting, hollering. I mean, I, I get uh, that uh, Trejo, Trejo, Trejo. Was it Dave Trejo? It's Trejo. It's Trejo. 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 Sorry, uh, I, he he looks like he eats a lot of spicy food, as do I. That might be a worthy a comparison stop and end. Um, I, it's got to be DeVito, man. Minus the penguin from Batman 2. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I can't really... Specifically the penguin from Batman 2. I can't really get to the comments on this one because everybody just seemed to put up a picture or a meme of uh, Danny DeVito doing something uh, <laughs> r- ridiculous. Uh, Mike kind of took a cop out. He said, uh, DeVito plays me as a child. Trejo plays me as an adult. Uh, yes, there you go. The uh, Got to pay the troll toll. <laughs> yeah. From the Nightman Cometh, I believe, on from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The uh, <laughs> but, Alan, uh, same question to you. Would you prefer that uh, the grizzled... Danny Trejo uh, uh, portray you in film, or the uh, the the, the wide ranging acting abilities of Danny DeVito. So this one was tough because, like, like uh, Wes was saying, I was uh, aesthetically. I mean, I'm a Danny DeVito, uh, but I am a saucy Latino man, much mm-hmm. like Danny Trejo. So wow. parallels, my somewhat cop out because you called the other Mike's answer cop out uh, was that I would put Danny Trejo's head onto Danny DeVito's body and then that would be me uh, okay. and I think that kind of works out he's got strong face hair uh, Danny Trejo uh, Danny DeVito not so much He uh, Trejo has a head of hair uh, luscious locks um, but then we we take that that fiery Latino heat and we just package it into a tiny little Vienna sausage, and <laughs> and then and and I just puts around doing crazy shit as Danny DeVito does. I, I agree with with Wes. You know I'm a jokester. DeVito definitely fits the bill, uh, but I think you know to get the best of both worlds, I really want that Trejo face because I I, I you could that that face could stare down Satan himself. Well. So, I just want to throw this little caveat in there because you and I, uh, men of smaller stature, like, wouldn't it be nice though to have someone who's like six two, between six two and six four, just buff and ripped? Like, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have that portrayed as uh, who we are for once in our yeah, lives? I mean, yes, but also, I think I lose a little comedic edge if I'm not, you know, a, a chubby guy. Like, I think that helps. Like, it, like nobody looks at Danny Trejo as like, yes, comedy. You know what I mean? So I think that's the I got to keep the the keeping the physique allows me to keep my comedy, but then I still get my spicy Latino flavor from my uh, acne scarred mustachioed face. Right, <laughs> your Latino heat. 
And also, he could never hear this because he'll kill me. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like Machete was actually more of a documentary than a... uh... Oh, that's what I heard. I heard it was like a memoir. (laughs) Yes. Danny Trejo's... I think he did (laughs) some really dirty shit. No, I think he did like... He was like manslaughter or something like back in the day and then went to prison like was in like san quentin right. so shit. so we had a he had a threesome with lindsey lohan <laughs> yeah, sure wow uh <laughs> he plays yeah, me pretty... he plays me all the way <laughs> <laughs> wait which lindsey lohan though like now lindsey lohan or mean girl i know in the movie machete he, he... oh oh yeah that's right uh, oh, I I she was in that yeah okay. that's you know sorry i i didn't go through the machete before we, we fired this one up this evening. My bad. <laughs> and by the way, I do feel like Machete was almost a mercy film for Danny Trejo because he never starred in his own movie. He was always that character actor that everybody, <gasps> hey, you look like a grizzled asshole. And then finally, uh, I think it was, uh, was it Robert Rodriguez? Is that the director mm-hmm. of Machete? Uh, I think he was finally like, hey, Danny, uh, I got some... T- I got some storage left on this uh, this flash drive in my camera. You want to make a movie real quick? I feel like that's what Machete was. And then everybody just kind of like gave him a mercy box office mm-hmm. just for being around Hollywood so much. Danny, Trejo, right, well, Dan- Danny Trejo has threesomes with Lindsay Lohan. Danny DeVito is married to Rhea Perlman, who is uh, C- Carla from uh, from Cheers. Just yes. Google, well, Google that. By the way, I actually, uh, Rhea Perlman, I actually saw Rhea Perlman on the streets of Baltimore uh, in my in my youth. I got her autograph. And oh. how weird must it have been for Rhea Perlman, who starred on Cheers, to have like a nine-year-old ask for her autograph <laughs> in the street? I love, your, I love your stuff. Yeah. Okay. So um, I looked at this, and it was a simple answer for me as well, is uh, I straight up took Danny DeVito. I just think it's a testament to how good an actor that guy is. Could you imagine if Danny DeVito even had mildly attractive, good looks? He has been in starring roles as one of the ugliest, most oddly shaped men in Hollywood for years. Probably the best television sitcom actor of two generations going all the way back to Taxi. Taxi, yeah. Wide, wide range of emotions. He can portray anything think about how emotional he was and was that uh, big fish with uh a uh, ewan mcgregor that's a um, great movie dude like all the way just all the way through to like the comedy of uh throw mama from the train always sunny in philadelphia i mean just classic amazing characters it doesn't matter what he looks like he can do anything if you look uh he actually starred uh he was a had a supporting role in one of my favorite movies of all time one flew over the cuckoo's nest he's one of the uh he's one of the patients when are we going to win our money back? Hmm. Dude, he's just, he's just, he's a phenomenal actor. He can hit every emotion. I, I think the three of us are, uh, we, we all have fiery tempers. We're all silly fucks. And I think uh, DeVito could hold court in all areas. Oh, yeah.